Let us take one characteristic, flower color. Mendel's character factors, now known as genes, still cannot be seen, but we know they are carried on the chromosomes. Suppose a red flowered pea has two genes for redness, one on each chromosome of a pair. When the chromosomes separate, one gene goes into the nucleus of each sex cell. In the white flowered pea, the same division occurs. When red flowers are crossed with white, each parent contributes one of the chromosomes in each pair. So the offspring gets one gene for red and one for white. Geneticists now know the exact place of certain genes on the chromosomes. For instance, on the fourth chromosome in the pea, one gene controls whether the plant bears many pods or single pods. Further along, another controls plant height. And still another affects the resistance to wilt disease. Present day knowledge of genetics allows the plant breeder to go through the door which Mendel opened. He can breed new combinations of characteristics, new varieties of plants suited to large scale food production, short varieties to allow machine harvesting, whole fields maturing on the same day. Breeding for new and better varieties is constantly going on. Varieties which are frost resistant, with improved taste, bearing more pods per plant and more peas per pod. <laughs>